If you're still feeling pretty dizzy after having a successful Epley maneuver, then this video is for you. For a lot of people that have BPPV and they had a successful Epley maneuver performed, about 43% of patients will still have some residual dizziness. They won't feel the intense vertigo when they go to lay down or to turn their head anymore, but they're going to feel things like disequilibrium, they'll feel a little bit off balance, maybe still lightheaded, things of that nature. Now this leads to a lot of patients saying that they have chronic vertigo, but that is actually a little bit of a misnomer because the actual thing where they were spinning and tumbling is no longer there, there's no longer the stagmas there, so not actually feeling that vertiginous sensation anymore. What they're really feeling is this sense of disequilibrium. One of the most common reasons that this happens is that the brain, particularly the cerebellum, doesn't compensate around that vertigo episode very well because sometimes when you get that BPPV treatment through the Epley maneuver, it actually gives you the most intense sensation of vertigo. After a high intensity incident like that, it's going to really upregulate the centers of your autonomic nervous system, which may create the grounds for negative plasticity. It may make you do things like fear avoidance or have catastrophization about future vertigo episodes. And this results in poor central compensation, which can be hampered by an underlying issue with anxiety and depression, which can lead to a condition called triple PD. But we also have to rule out other types of problems, like maybe someone had vestibular hypofunction that they didn't know that they had before, or they might have another sensory motor problem like a cervical spine issue that could be contributing. This is a place where vestibular rehab exercises like gaze stability and balance training may be helpful. I also recommend other habituation exercises like the Brandt Daroff maneuver in order to desensitize that sensation of tilting towards your side. But also something that I think people underestimate is that we might be able to help the brain compensate by using other systems like the cervical spine and the eyes. Things like cervical spine adjustments can help improve things like proprioception through those small suboccipital muscles that help improve the feedback into the brain through the cervical neck muscles. And ocular motor training may help make the eyes feel a little bit more comfortable so some people may have this feeling that their eyes are not steady or not moving around very well. Just by training the person to move their eyes better can help them habituate to some of those sensations. There are no hard rules to improving someone's balance and equilibrium so there are many roads to roam and that means being creative in how we approach patient care for people that have these lingering dizziness issues.